hello out there welcome to this tutorial the topic is simple linear equations with brackets my name is Abdurrahman Umar please subscribe to our youtube channel Oninab resources like and share this video so we take the first problem solve the following equations so here we have uh, x everywhere we're going to find the value of x in each of these equations so we start with the first equation we have 5 into x minus 2 equal to 15 and uh, if we look at what is outside the brackets I have 5 outside the brackets here and I have 15 here so we go ahead to divide both sides by 5 15 divided by 5 so this 5 cancels this 5 5 here 1 5 into 15 gives 3 so I'm left with x minus 2 and on the right hand side I'm left with 3 so we just move this negative 2 to the right hand side which will change to positive 2 so I have x is equal to 3 plus 2 and that gives x to be equal to 5 so that's the end of the solution of problem 1a we go to b here the number we have outside the bracket is not divisible by 14 so 3 is not a factor of 14 so in this case we cannot divide both sides by 3 what we do is to expand the brackets so we use this number outside these brackets here to multiply every term inside the brackets so we have 3 times 2x giving us 6x 3 times positive 1 will give us a positive 3 so we have it plus 3 is equal to 14 we can then now collect the like terms the terms with x on the left hand side and the constant terms on the right hand side so I have 6x on the left hand side and I still have 14 on the right hand side so I am moving this positive 3 to the right hand side which becomes negative 3 so that I now have 6x is equal to 11 now we divide both sides by 6 dividing the left hand side by 6 we are left with x and uh, 11 divided by 6 so here we write this number as mixed fractions so writing it as mixed fractions i have x to be equal to one whole number five over six i have x to be one whole number five over six then we are done with problem one b we go to one c for one c we have a uh, 2 into 4x minus 3 is equal to x plus 8 so this time around the concept of dividing both sides by a particular constant is out of place so we have two outside here there's only one outside this here if we want to form the brackets so we expand the brackets on the left hand side then, us, then we solve the equation normally so we have 2 times 4x giving us 8x 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6 so we have minus 6 there is equal to x plus 8 so now we collect the like terms the terms with x to the left hand side and the term the terms without x to the right hand side so we have 8x still on the left hand side we are moving this x to the left hand side so it becomes minus x and the 8 will still remain on the right hand side taking this negative 6 to the right hand side it becomes positive 6 so 8x minus x gives 7x 8 plus 6 gives 14 dividing both sides by 7 7x divided by 7 gives x 14 divided by 7 gives 2 so x is equal to 2 is the solution of the problem 1c and we go to d problem d 
again we have brackets on both sides normally we can divide this by 2 since 2 is a factor of 4 here and the end of the day the bracket on the left hand side will be gone and uh, we still have brackets on the right hand side so I can just open the brackets and uh, simplify so what I do here is 2 times 3x gives 6x 2 times 2 will give us plus 4 4 times 2x gives 8x and 4 times 3 gives 12 so I have plus 12 collecting the like terms um, I have uh, 6x on the left hand side bringing this 8x from the right hand side to the left hand side it becomes minus 8x is equal to 12 take this 4 to the right hand side it gives minus 4 6x minus 8x gives negative 2x and 12 minus 4 gives 8 so we now divide both sides by negative 2 we divide both sides by negative 2 so negative 2x divided by negative 2 gives x 8 divided by negative 2 gives negative 4 so x is equal to negative 4 that brings the solution of problem 1 to an end so we move to the second problem find the value of the unknowns in each of these equations so I start with the first equation here I expand all the brackets so I have 3 times 3a gives 9a 3 times positive 2 gives positive 6 here this is negative 2 I use this negative 2 to expand this bracket you have to be very careful so I have negative 2 times 2a gives negative 4a negative 2 times negative 5 so what we do here is negative times negative gives positive and 2 times 5 gives 10 so our answer is plus 10 this is equal to 26 so I collect the like terms on the left hand side here which gives 9a minus 4a plus 6 plus 10 is equal to 26 9a minus 4a is 5a 6 plus 10 gives 16 is equal to 26 I take this to the right hand side so 5a is equal to 26 minus 16 26 minus 16 gives 10 therefore 5a is equal to 10 and dividing both sides by 5 divide this left hand side by 5 we get a divide the right hand side by 5 I have 2 so a is equal to 2 problem 2b again we are going to expand the brackets we have in here so for the first bracket 5 times 3 gives 15 5 times negative q gives negative 5q we now use this plus 3 to multiply every term inside these brackets so we have 3 times 2q gives plus 6q positive 3 times negative 7 gives negative 21 then we have this 4 here which is now affected by the brackets so we have 4 equal to 0 we now collect the like terms the terms with q and the constant terms are collected together in collecting the terms with q i take the positive terms into consideration first so i have 6q then here is a negative term with q so minus 5q then we go with the constant terms the constant terms here are 15 negative 21 and positive 4 so I start with the positive 15 plus 4 then minus 21 equals 0 so 6q minus 5q give q and 15 plus 4 gives 19 
19 minus 21 gives negative 2 equals 0. So we take this negative 2 to the right hand side. Q is equal to 2. That is the end of solution of problem 2, which invariably brings the tutorial to an end. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Oninab Resources and like this video. Bye for now.